Imagine a world where a Harvard education is available only through a mobile device and physical products like remote controls and bookshelves have been replaced by mobile software. That may not be such a distant reality, according to MicroStrategy CEO Michael Saylor, author of The Mobile Wave. MicroStrategy has already been mapping out a new future for intelligent software for the last 15 years. But in his book, Saylor explains how mobile is coming to dominate computing. Our editor-at-large, Corey Johnson, spoke with him about the concept and asked why he believes mobile will alter life as we know. I mean, the theme of the mobile wave is, is every company is becoming a software company, whether they like it or not, to the extent that they provide a good or a service that touches the consumer. So unless you have a diamond mine or an oil well, you better become a good software company. And clearly, uh, Google, Facebook, Apple are the winners. Uh, the losers are companies that need to be great software companies, but either in denial and, and they're hoping that this is not going to happen, or they're just incapable of developing great software skills. What things die? What, what, what businesses go away? I mean, is that happening already? B businesses that are based upon uh, local, average, or, or mediocre provision of goods and services. If, uh, if the only reason you're here is because you're the only person with a printing press in Hong Kong and nobody else can afford to print a, a, a paper and ship it to you, then that's no longer the case. I mean, I would expect the New York Times is going to ship to 500 million people. And if it doesn't, then someone else is going to come along that can ship a paper in, in English language to 500 million people. So I think you can't hide behind local rules, local laws, local material constraints, and local labor constraints anymore. You have to be prepared for a global, very competitive world where the single best person in the world is probably going to ship their software every single place it might possibly go. It also seems like a lot of physical things, those things that remain, will have to be connected in mobile ways that we're not thinking about right now. Yeah, I think uh, if we take something as simple as a key, right? In the electromechanical world, a key opens a door. It's pretty clear that sometime in the near future, your smartphone is going to become a key. And if I can actually open my apartment with a piece of software on my smartphone, I can flick the key to 25 people. I can create a key that only opens the door to my apartment when I'm not there, or a key that only opens the apartment uh, from 9 to 5 when I am there. At that point, keys are all on a network, and someone's going to be running a server that's got a billion keys networked into it, and they'll be running all the, all the software to open and close all those doors. I think we're going to see lots of application networks form that are worldwide that, that provide very, very powerful software services. So let me ask you about MicroStrategies really quickly. So with your company, do you try to reestablish or refocus your company for this new mobile world? You know, it's, it's essential. Three years ago, we started working on mobile software, and we released a product, MicroStrategy Mobile, in 2010. Uh, it's a now evolved to be a mobile application platform. We're now releasing mobile application networks, networks for mobile identity, for mobile commerce, for uh, mobile intelligence. And we think that it's essential. It, you're either going to grow into the new space, or you're going to defend and get chiseled away at 3 to 5% a year. And I got to ask you, you know, I know it goes back a long ways, but I wonder, you know, you've stuck with this company through thick and thin and also through a, a massive uh, account, we'll call it an accounting problem. Uh, but it was, there were SEC charges. It was a big deal. And I wonder for you, like, do you look at that as a, an experience that you learned from and you did things differently in terms of, for example, not doing conference calls and, and running your business differently for a different kind of information era? Yeah, you know, I think we've learned to appreciate over time to shoot for the long term. I think uh, Warren Buffett has become a great idol of mine. And, and what Warren Buffett said is, is over the long term, the stock market's a weighing machine. Over the short term, it's a voting machine. And the most important thing for us to do is, is look out and assume we're going to be running the business forever and then find a way to maximize cash flows, grow the business, serve the customers. And if we do that, then the rest will follow. That was our Corey Johnson with MicroStrategy CEO, Michael Saylor. Coming up, Corey and I...